Since my chicken client wasn't a big success, I'm now releasing the Feather client. I'm just joking. The Feather client is made by the developers of PvP launch, which was a huge thing in the early stages of Minecraft clients, but it got a bit outdated over time. So they're starting over with the Feather client and it became a huge hype. They claim to double the FPS of any other client and specialize on customization. By the end of this video you'll find out if this will be the next Lunar client or if it's all just a huge scam. And this is what the launcher looks like. It's all still in beta. Um, so over here they have a shop where you can buy yourself into the beta. <laughs> That's what I had to do. Um, there's beta access cloaks. You have to buy one of these four cloaks and then you'll, you'll get whitelisted to the client. It will be free in the future, but for now it's just for the beta because they don't want to have a huge storm of people using the client right now. Over here we also have their Twitter and their Discord. Their Discord is actually really, really good because over here you can uh, submit bug reports and they actually get fixed super, super quickly, which is kind of like the main thing that I like about this. Um, because if I go over here to client updates, you can see that every single day there are so many bug fixes. Uh, especially over here. I mean, it's just crazy. So the staff team is really, really active. Look at this. This was all in one day. But back to the launcher. Over here we have some news. They currently have two partner servers and four versions that you can play. These are like the main versions that you need anyways. So there's 1.8.9, 1.12, 17 and 18. And how this works is with Forge and Fabric. So basically it's just kind of like a mod pack, but not really. Um, over here you can also go to the mods and browse mods. They have tons of mods ready for you to install and they also have their own voice chat over here, the mumble link. So if you and your friends install that, you can use proximity chat in game. Now they also have that for each version. So I have Optifine, mumble link and the replay mod for 1.8.9. The replay mod also works for all of the other versions. So that's really, really great. Also, they have Iris shaders, which is a lot better than Optifine in the 1.18. And now here comes the biggest part. You can add your own mods. So far, I didn't have to add any of my own mods because they just have everything, like literally everything. Um, but if you wanted to, you can go here and put your own mods into this folder. I put Optifine in here because there was a bug. You know, it's still in beta, there are bugs, whatever. Uh, they all get fixed. You can add any mod that you just download, so that's really, really great. Over here we have a profile. I'm guessing they're gonna add something like this, like Lady Mod has, with a username, past usernames, and also skin history, kind of like name MC, but nobody knows what's gonna be there. Also in the settings, you can change the allocated RAM, makes sense, Minecraft path, Java arguments, the resolution, and what's really, really useful right now is this repair game button, so you can just reinstall any version that you'd like to. Alright, this is the starting menu, you can change your account. Over here are the feather mods, I'll go through that in a second. Uh, we have the Minecraft settings and the replay mod button. Over here are the cosmetics, I have my beta cape right here, I can just equip it right now. Over here it also says boots and hats and wings, so those will be coming, uh, but right now they're not available. Alright, I'm now on Mindman and you can see my, my glitching beta cape. It looks pretty cool. Real quick about the FPS boost, on Badline I have around 150 FPS right here in this lobby and right now I have 250 FPS, so there is a huge increase. The reason for that is probably because this is a Forge mod pack and not really a real client, it kind of is, but I don't know, it's tough. But Forge just takes up less resources apparently. Alright, the mods. Over here we have cosmetics again and then the feather settings. So this is what the menu looks like. I think it's really, really good. Over here in the general settings, you can also change the color that you want it to be. So I could just change it to, I don't know, this blue. That <laughs> looks not that good, <laughs> but yeah, it is possible. It has full bright armor status, boss bar, CPS, Discord integration, FOV changer, FPS shower, high pixel mods, hitbox, keystrokes, motion blur, nick hider, particles, perspective mod, and so much more. Also, there's a nice zoom mod. Uh, so if I just zoom in like this, I can zoom in even further, which is pretty cool. Over here, there are also some chat options with the background color. It automatically stacks repeated messages. So if I just write ASDF, ASDF, it then shows that this message appeared twice. Under the performance tab, you can turn on fast rendering. Um, there's lazy chunk loading, different settings, name tag culling and all that fun stuff. But let me just move around some stuff so you see how that looks like. So over here, I have the keystrokes, for example. The alignment is really, really easy. Uh, that's one thing that I don't like about Luna, because if you put something like this in Luna, you have to fine tune it exactly like that. But over here, you can just do it kind of okay, <laughs> and then it automatically aligns. I don't know how to describe it, but moving around mods is really, really fun with this. Also, scaling is pretty easy, generally a really good experience. I'll just play one Skyros game on Jartex to show you that the FPS also work really, really well. Oh, and I just noticed that I didn't align this perfectly, so let me just do that right now. There we go, it's easily fixed. 
By the way, I'm now at 350 FPS, so it's only going better. All right, let's go. By the way, if you like this pack, uh, the release will be very, very soon at 500 subs. Uh, we're almost there, so, so please subscribe now if you want me to release it. I think it turned out great. Let me just go over here. Kill number two. Hello there. No, 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 don't run away, come on. What do you, what do you want? What the hell? The heck? What is happening? All right, I now decided to nick. Maybe that's a smart thing to do. Kill number one. It's not going that well, actually. <laughs> Never mind, it's going well. Very well. Oh no, he's a burst Batman. Never mind. Ha! I turned around. He didn't see this coming. Bye. Die, good night. Oh, he had a knockback sword, let's go. Kill number three. He just came out of nowhere. But he's gonna go back there. Ha <laughs> Oh, hello, last person. GG. So all in all, I would say it definitely has a chance to be the next Luna. Okay, maybe not the next Luna, but maybe to surpass Lady Mod at least. Um, I think that's quite doable because there aren't any mods that are missing. The customization is really, really cool. And so far it actually is the best FPS booster that I've tried so far, so... Oh, let me just kill that guy. And I'm getting killed from two other people by... Ah, what the hell? Right. <laughs> I completely forgot what I was about to say. But yeah, after the beta, I think it will be a pretty big thing. Um, there are a few bugs, but they will get fixed soon. Can I stop getting attacked? I want to talk. Ah! Die. Thank you. But yeah, I hope this video answered all of your questions. If it didn't, then comment down below and I will answer whatever you have in mind. So subscribe to the bell and hit the like button. Bye-bye. Why did everyone laugh at the chicken? She was a real comedian. <laughs>